Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is October 25th, 2017, and today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the economic events of the day, we've got a lot of events starting out at 1030 South African time, GBP preliminary quarterly gross domestic product number uh, coming out. So that's an important number, and we'll look at the GBP just yesterday. We had a nice sell-off, and we'll look at that. Uh, 2.30 South African time, core durable goods coming out in the United States. That's also an important number. And then the most important number of the day, Bank of Canada rate decision at 4 p.m. South African time. So that's a major event. We'll look at the Canadian dollar as well. And then we've got our weekly inventories number for oil coming out. And then finally at 5.15, a press conference in regards to the rate decision coming coming out of Canada. So lots of important numbers coming out all together, but let's see what's been happening in the market. Okay, so we're going to start here with the Euro USD, and as you can see, we've pretty much flatlined, okay? Looking here, you know, at this levels, you know, we had at most a 20 to 30 pip move for the past couple of days. So it's been kind of tight, okay, to tell you the truth. But, you know, all in all, you know, after the run-up that we've had, under the correctional move that we've had, you know, the Euro USD is pretty much finding itself in a certain, you know, balance, okay? And, you know, the dollar's been getting a little bit stronger, but it hasn't represented in the Euro USD, whereas it has represented in some of the other currencies. We'll look at that in a moment. So that might be a relatively uh, strengthening position for the Euro USD and perhaps we'll see it going further up. We're popping up a little bit right here in this morning move, but we're still between the 14 and 30 day average. You know, once we have a little bit of a momentum on the upside or a breakdown on the downside, I'd have a little bit more conviction in taking a position. But right now, since we are trading, you know, within this relatively tight range, I would just sit back on the Euro USD. Looking at the GBP USD, however, looking at a one hour chart and we've mentioned this yesterday this was a beautiful setup okay with this resistance here at 132.24 ish level just hit it and then came right back down this was a beautiful short if you're able to catch it we did mention it in yesterday's daily review if it does falter and doesn't break above this 132 it would be a great short and sure enough that did come through now we're trading at the bottom of this range okay uh, I would call it a minor range okay because if you look at the longer time frame you'll see that we are above this 130 30-ish level uh, of 130.32. So we've been trading between this 132 and 130 level, and we're smack in the middle of that. All right. So there's no, you know, I wouldn't call this a major support level that we're trading at right now, 131, but we may bounce off of it. Okay. So just keep that in mind today with these numbers coming out of the UK of the core, uh, the GDP numbers coming out. So keep an eye on that as well. Looking at the USDZR. Now this is a longer time frame, a weekly time frame. We're trading at the top of this range here at 1370-ish level. Okay, now we've been trying to, we've been in this range for several months now, okay? Um, and, but we've, we haven't really solidified on the upside. Now we may see this actually break out. So keep an eye on this as well. You know, with the JSE getting higher, dollar getting a little bit stronger, we may see a breakout here. So keep an eye on that as well. Aussie USD, you know, confirming the fact that the dollar is getting stronger. Okay, uh, really big pullback right here. A bit of a support level right here. We've had this previous resistance level, if you see here on the daily chart. Uh, this previous resistance level and then subsequent support. So let's see if it does hold this line. If it doesn't hold this line, we could definitely see it continue coming down to the 76-ish level. So that's, you know, a really great setup if you are in it already, okay, because we saw this double top here at 0.78, you know, good for you, okay, because that was really a layup of a move. We never broke above the 30-day average and, you know, easy retracement right there so looking at the gold all right and we're going to get into the indices in just a moment trickling down at 1274 we had this nice pop-up on monday we were trading at 1284 but nothing no follow-through the indices are strong never broke above this 30-day average really okay never closed above this 30-day average and we're further down so the question is is that are we going to break this 1270 we're only four points away from it if we do Okay, we could definitely see it go back down to the 1240-ish, 1230-ish level, all right? Making lower highs on the daily chart, 
Okay, we had this head and shoulders initially, um, and now we're you know just trading almost at support level. Now the reason that being is obviously the Dow Jones. Dow Jones hitting all-time highs once again yesterday, 22,400-ish level. Okay, now we've mentioned this several several times. Amazing trades coming out of the United States, just beautiful trending upwards, okay? Your trend is a friend until it proves otherwise, and this is sure enough a nice indication that it kind of faked us out right about here, all right? Now, this this was an area we're looking at the daily charts. This was back in August where it looked like we were breaking lower, breaking lower, breaking lower, and then finally we held this 21,700-ish line and then broke it up and never saw anything uh, you know, since then. So what's uncommon about the markets right now is that usually October, November are sell-off months. And in fact, we're rallying, okay, which is completely, you know, unheard of at this time of the year. However, because the markets are so strong, people are anticipating it's going to get to 24,000, maybe the top of 23,800-ish level. You know, these people are buying these markets. Now, this is affecting the rest of the world. Now, look, look at the DAX. We don't see it breaking out higher. It's not a 13,075, it's a 13,011, reluctantly, so it seems, okay, because it just seems like, you know, the Dow Jones is just pulling everything else up higher, okay, so this doesn't look like it's truly, truly strong, it just looks like it's being pulled up by the Dow. Now, looking at the JSC, however, you see that we had a nice pop-up yesterday, all right, we had this gap up earlier in the week. We didn't hold this line, okay, which was actually a pretty decent buy at these levels. Okay, We actually suggested you bought it right here. Um, it did pop up above it, but then it retraced further back. Um, harder on these uh, these type of uh, smaller indices, but you see that we are you know, coming back with a strong bar up, which may pull us up higher to the top of the range. Okay, So you know, the Dow Jones is really leading the markets higher. Okay, some of the indices are dragging along behind it and sometimes catch up a little bit afterwards. So that's something to keep of note later today. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day.